making our own rain and snow. Sounds like a wild idea, but it could be one solution to the ongoing drought. Yeah, it's called cloud seeding and Amber could bring big benefits. Yeah, there's huge potential for this, you guys. Right now, cloud seeding is not happening here in Arizona, but it could in the future. It's something many local agencies are looking into right now. So Ashley Paredes went to go find out how it works and the benefits that it could bring. The Salt River Project distributing water to about half the valley, getting its supply from the Verde and Salt Rivers, recently entering into a partnership with the White Mountain Apache Tribe to research the feasibility of cloud seeding, a complicated technique discovered in the 1940s. Cloud drops can, can exist in a liquid state even below freezing. That type of water is called supercooled liquid water. If you can inject um, extra ice nuclei in there, then you can promote the growth of uh, snowflakes and increase the amount of snow that falls in the winter storms. Hydrologist James Walter explaining the process, focusing their nearly year and a half study on the White Mountains, which he believes could be the most favorable area for cloud seeding in Arizona and bring big benefits to the state. A healthier forest, fewer catastrophic wildfires in the region, uh, more ecological diversity, improved riparian areas. At the same time, the Central Arizona Project has been funding research on cloud seeding in other states for years. States which also utilize the Colorado River for its water supply. CAP entering into a multi-year pilot study in 2006 of the Wind River Mountain Range with the Wyoming Water Development Office. One of the most difficult parts of cloud seeding and cloud seeding research is to differentiate or distinguish distinguish when precipitation falls, how much of it fell naturally and how much of it fell due to cloud seeding. But the study yielding promising results with a 5 to 15 percent increase in precipitation, that leading to the current funding agreement between CAP and a few other lower basin agencies. Our partners in Colorado, Wyoming and Utah, um, they are in the upper Colorado River Basin where 90 percent of the Colorado River stream flow comes from. So for us to be able to increase their snowpack um, helps the Colorado River flow and that's what that's what we care about. Distributing that water to around 6 million people in Maricopa, Pima and Pinal counties. But CAP is currently in its first ever tier one shortage, resulting in a substantial cut to Arizona's share of the Colorado River. In this unprecedented time, we're told anything helps. If there's anything we can do to augment the snowfall within the Colorado River Basin, um, we want to pursue that opportunity. Ashley Paredes, ABC 15, Arizona.